So Republicans risk losing the policy debate in in the eyes of the public. And that's a, it's, it's, it is an important policy debate because it will either make us more safe if Republicans win or less safe if the left, the gun control lobby um, wins here. But it's it's so much bigger than that. If we zoom out for a minute on on what's actually at play here, it's a battle between good and evil. It's not a battle between the left's policy and the right's policy. This this is it's a battle between good and evil. And this is what Republicans are so afraid to say. This is why everyone's analysis about this mass shooting in Uvalde is wrong. It's not a public policy problem. It's a battle, a spiritual battle between good and evil. And if you don't acknowledge that, the battle's still going to happen around you. But your activity, your feelings, your political activism, even your vote, isn't going to make a difference. Because the public policy fight is about this big. The spiritual battle between good and evil is about this big. So you can stay relegated down here to just fighting politics. But if you don't fight the spiritual battle, then it doesn't matter what you do in politics. You fight evil by promoting institutions that serve as a bulwark against that evil. This, by the way, is also why it's so important, why I say all the time that it's so important that we fight the culture war battles in our country, where whether this is critical race theory in school, whether it's critical race theory at the corporate level, whether it's queer theory in school, whether it's queer theory at the corporate level, whether it's abortion, whether it's um, whether it's assault on on the family, whatever it might be in, in the culture where it's so important, so critically important that we don't just become fiscal conservatives, that we don't just focus on the economy and on jobs and on foreign policy, that we do fight the, the battles over social issues because when evil corrupts our civil institutions, that means our non-governmental institutions, when, it, when evil corrupts our civil institution, institutions, it then corrupts kids. Schools, church, our, our community, our neighborhoods, the nuclear family, a married mom and dad, marriage in, gener in, in general, gender, parental rights, these all serve as, as guardians of children against evil. Because evil is coming after our children. Evil is coming after our children, and it's up to us. This is actually the, the, the debate, or the, or the battle, if you will, that's happening within the conservative movement it, itself. People just don't want to put a pin in it. They don't want to, to put a name on it. But this is actually the battle between what, what's called based conservatism, if you will, versus establishment republicanism it is the question of what kind of country do you want to live in? What things or ideas or principles do we actually value? This is a choice that we have to make. And ultimately, it's a choice between good and evil.